Okay, y'all know Bear Bear. He's at the house. And we did a little touch up on him together. But he's acts, well, let me don't jinx myself, but he does act pretty different on the table here at the house or at the salon. He's lost a lot of weight, which is good. We're going to do a seven down. Okay, all right. Is this, door, is this door open bothering you? Is this door bothering you? Rocco's in the bathtub with David. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do a summer cut and then I don't see them for like three months, so we're gonna do a short cut all over. I got my seven on my clippers. And usually he doesn't make all this noise, so it's kind of things are changing a little bit for him. So summer cut's gonna ride him for a few months through our hot summer here in uh, Texas. So that's kind of cool. And he's lost so much weight, you guys. Um, and it's good. We want he, we don't want him to be too heavy. And mom's done a really good job watching his weight. I mean, like on point. Stand up for me, sweetie. There you go. That's exactly perfect right there. Oh, Rocco is not liking that glow rag right now. So go around the dog up stand, come back and do all that underneath the dog up stand last. Okay. So he didn't, he didn't blow him all the way out, it's fine. He's not liking it at all. Just here, let him air dry a little bit. What's wrong, Bear Bear? So we probably turn it down, test Rocco differently, maybe give him a hug. There's a couple other things we can do in the setting of the blow dry and kind of calm the dog down. Come back and tidy everything up after. So just get most of the hair off so we can do the blow dry fast. I mean the blow dryers faster, you know. Less hair. Less hair to blow dry. So Haley, this dog, you know, the, the, it's Yorkie, the tail's docked. It's very, very, um, Haley just even texted me today about her York, you know, another Yorkie, getting another Yorkie, and thanks for your order, Haley, um, and many others, too, many others' orders, thank you, but Haley had asked me about the tail, you know, this, this tail's docked as well, so... If you know that where you're going to get the dog and, and they're going to have the Yorkie as a puppy and you don't want that... Yorkie's tail dock. Just say you don't want to adopt. You know, They're, um, I'm I'm under the impression that they don't feel it at that young of an age. That's why they get docked. But it, it is what it is. It's just been happening so many years. You know, uh, it comes down to personal preference, though.
short head, but I mean, two, three months later, you know, it'll be, it'll look good, just like it did coming in. So I'm gonna do four guard reverse. And let him help me shake all that off. Just straight up over the ears, under the neck. Get all that out of your way here. Is that Rocco? What's he doing, man? Rocco, what are you doing back there, man? Hi, Bear Bear. Pull that ear like this, get it out of your way. You can easily pull in that skin from the ear there, so. Bring it all forward. I know some of you needed to see this video, so. If you need it in slow motion, just pause, watch, pause, watch, pause. So it's just gonna be really hard for us to do a slow motion for you. Yeah, right? If you don't like the sound, hit mute. Get your uh, scissor shears out. What's he doing, man? You don't have to finish blow drying him. He's having a bad day. You don't have to finish blow drying if he's having a bad day. Oh, okay. He's already put up? He's already up? Maybe he doesn't like the fact that he has to work today, huh? Today's working, not hanging out playtime, so. So the difference between being at home and hanging out than it is grooming, so. Got some bush right here, I need to take care of that. You got some bush going on, man? I'll take care of the bushiness. And I've, there's a little static in the air, so I'm kind of, do you see how static just stuck right there? Just to be able to move quickly, you know? I'm gonna come back and clean that up. I'm not sure what what with yet, but I will come back and take that thickness out. Maybe just straight up with the seven back there. I like the round ears, so you guys pick. You can do pointy or round. Just follow that leather all the way around there. Yeah, buddy. It's your eight and a half. Around the face here. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just we're gonna go to the bath and come back and check it all out again. We are not playing any music, by the way. All that noise and music is from next door. Okay, here we go. And someone wrote us a long email about the music. I appreciate you, man. We're gonna we're implementing that your advice. I appreciate you taking the time to pay attention to what I'm talking about and see my frustration on copyright material. Really, really appreciate your advice. Okay, hold on here. Can you look? Come on. Just round it and then you're gonna come back later, okay? He's had a dental done and we do the teeth gel and everything, so the teeth gel is really important. He's had a lot of teeth pulled due to bad teeth. And we'll just apply some teeth gel today. You ready? You wanna just take over? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, let's see. Cause the only thing kinda left was the pads. I got it. Yeah, we did the pads, they're not that bad. We did the pads at the house recently, so. So David's gonna show you the bath on uh, Bear together, and we'll see you in a few.
Rocco. Okay, hold on there, bear. We got Rocco here running around. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So this is like as much anal glands as we got out a lot for a small dog. It's kind of a sensitive subject, but um, Rocco and Bear Bear, their owner was Mac, and Mac is uh, Deborah, Deborah's son, and she just showed me a bunch of pictures. Um, Mac took his own life, so be uh, you never know when the end of your life may be. But he, I think Rocco's acting up because, not acting up, but real excited, he never does this. But I think it was, I think it's today. I think we lost Mac last year today. So uh, maybe that's why he's just, um, just feeling that today. Interesting, because he never, he never acts like this. You hear him, he never acts like that, so. Mac, we miss you, and um, thank you, Deborah, for sharing your, your son's dogs with us, and, um, um, just thank you. Just be, uh, life is precious and uh, take one, don't take one moment for granted. All right, here we go. Okay. All right, David. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Come on. Come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Are you here? Come on, Rocco.
bear. Yeah, okay. David said the camera's on, man. The camera's good, ready to go. Yeah, and Rocco's over there. I let Rocco hang out. He's just not having a great day. He's kind of just hyper right now. Hmm? Is that your leash and collar? Okay, well, we got to get to work, man. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. You never know what's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got to focus now. Okay, get your seven out. Can you get your seven out, Ruff? Or bear, bear? Bear, bear. Get your seven, you ready? That's Rocco. I don't know what he's doing over there, man. Rocco's hanging out by the front door. I locked him in. He's looking out the window, but he's very excited today. Okay, yeah. yeah. Rocco doesn't act like that, man. He never makes a peep.
chop, chop. That was a four guard, and this is my 10. And with the four guard, I, I always use a 10 underneath. You can use a 30 or a 10, it's up to you. But I like the 10 better. Because really, I don't use a 30 anywhere else. So why have a bunch of 30s if I'm only gonna use it like right under the guard? Any noise, any little noise will trigger the dog to do stuff. That's why when people are walking around back and forth, you want to be like, hey, if you're a helper, don't do, don't be having someone walk around back and forth, back and forth. It's very dangerous. Any little noise, especially if you're working on the face, including if mom walked in, well, the door's locked, but if mom walked in right now, it'd be like, okay, don't say anything, you know, because any little noise could trigger the dog to move around, jerk. And you don't know where they're at right now, the grooming process, if it's the face or if it's tiny or what. favorite bottle. This is the rainbow one. It's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that's the leave-in conditioner. We're going to do brush out. That's good. I'm not going to brush TV. Come on this way here. I'm going to do the nails first real fast. gas. Did you just, I smell it, man. I smell the gas, man. There's not much to take off this one. Okay, now we can go back and do the feet the best.
let me see if I can answer someone's question here about the feet. Every foot's going to look different. On his, um, the nails, you can you can do this. Uh, let me think. Uh, she said something like, they're always brush up the feet. Know where your knuckles are, that they're not a schnauzer's knuckles sticking up. And just trim them around down like this. Well, you saw what I was doing right before this. I, w I didn't brush it up yet. You can brush it. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, the battery's dying. How's the battery already dying, dude? Okay, we're gonna look at the, this is a brand new battery, you guys. At least it lasts, I wanna say, I don't know if it's worth it or not. I'll let you know. Brand new battery, charged it for, before we used it, charged it overnight, so. Should have a max load there, but just this grooming day today. Okay, stop, stop, bear. So this is all, do you see this? All the hair sticking out and stuff. Brush it down. No, Bear, I need you to stand up like normal. No, stop. It's because I've got this camera on my mind. So go around this way. Do your nail trim first if you're going to do a nail trim at all. If not, that's fine too. Just go around in a circle. You can leave it there. Uh, you don't have to be picky at all. Here's another, let me see this one. See, I can't tell what's already cut off what's not because it's walking around, so that's why you sweep your table. Thank you. Okay, come on, Bear Bear. Well, me and Bear Bear have been doing this a long time, though. So, um, so now you can come this way. Let's see here. Another option. Because I went just straight down with your clippers first. Brush the hair up. Look at all that's still left. Uh-uh, stop. Stop looking at David. There's nothing you need to worry about with David. Focus on us here. So brush that all up. Know where your knuckles are. I know him. I know him really well. Schnauzer's knuckles are really high sometimes. You can just trim all that hair out and around. So then there's like nothing left. There's no roundness or no cuteness. It's just a trim. It's a haircut. Da -da -da. Use your 40 for the pads. Come back and do that. So now you got that, right? That's fine. Okay, so let's go back to, let's try to see if I can do a couple in the back here. Different ways of doing the, the um, feet. Okay, let's use a dog up stand here, just some support. He's got gas, and I know, remember I told you when I did his anal glands, he had poop, so he probably has to poop. Okay, so she said, she's, um, you're coming just, maybe you're doing a sharp. You're making it really sharp. So let's make this one sharp, make it sharp, and then come and take that edge right off, that sharp point at the top. Do you try it that way. Okay, last one. Yeah, you're gonna go around the dog up stand. I know you are. Oh. I know. Stay there for me. Stay there. Don't move. Again, making it really sharp. Look at how sharp it is right here. And just come take that, up. just cut straight right there. And just round it. If that's your problem. I can't remember. Was She said they're too square or they're too triangle. I can't remember now, but I do know that there was a request talk about the feet a little bit more all right so now we'll come back to the face can't believe this is blinking and it's still hanging in there for me I think we're looking good what do you guys think right bear bear we're looking good huh okay let me just get some detailed up here some of this brown stuff that sticks in the mouth Did you do the pets life gel? David? We're gonna do pets life gel on your teeth, okay? Wee wee. Come here. Let him pass by. 
really good hold on the bone here so we don't get any moving around. She's gonna go do Rocco's Pets Life Gel, apply it to the teeth, and then we'll do yours in just a second. Oh, this Pets Life Gel, is a, the dogs react different than the regular toothpaste, and I, I'm almost, I'm almost sure I'm gonna just stop carrying toothpaste. But for brushing, it helps to have something, just a, the same kind of concept, but just a little cheaper, so you have your toothpaste, you know? I see some stragglies. So while we wait, we'll just take care of some of these stragglies. Right? Oh, you look so good. Mom might be outside ready to go, so we're almost done here. She had to do some running around. Is he coming for you? You can leave it here for me. Oh yeah, you look so handsome, man. Gonna do a little bit of my favorite leave-in conditioner. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do our pet silk rainforest cologne. Just a couple squirts. You don't need much. Hi. Yeah, we're gonna do the pet's life gel. Okay, here it is, our pet's life gel. I'm gonna apply some to my fingertip. And just right onto the teeth there. Yeah, you are you ready for me? You want some of this? Yeah, especially on the back tooth there. So Rocco loves to eat dog poop. Uh, no, I don't even know if it's dog poop or what. Cat poop. You want some more? You want some more? You want some more? Yeah. Here. So Rocco's mom has Pets Life Gel at home, so she applies it daily. So look at the teeth, man. I know they've already been extracted as needed, but to keep these on in as most decent repair as possible, you know, there's a few left. So we wanted to keep them really good and clean. This is our preventative. All right. We'll talk a little bit later, but thanks for watching Bear Bear on video and we will be back. Bye, Bear Bear. Just love you. Just love you. Someone wanted to see the love and stuff, right? So we're doing this on the camera. I just love you. I just love you. Mm, I just love you, Bear Bear. I just love you, man. Yeah. You holding on to me? You holding on to me? Okay, say bye, Bear Bear. Say bye-bye, Bear Bear.